Well, happy Monday, everybody. We've had some nice sunshine to end the weekend, starting the work week with more of the same. But we're still dealing with that hazy skies. The wildfires way out to our west still riding the jet stream and it just happens to sweep right down from Minnesota into Wisconsin and then over Lake Michigan. So that's what we're seeing here in Muskegon. So what looks like a mostly cloudy conditions is actually a lot of sunshine. But the good news is even though it looks hazy, the smoke is so thin that the sun is still peeking through and we're able to heat up uh, pretty regularly here for a lot of uh, West Michigan communities. Downtown Grand Rapids, a little bit sunnier for areas inland and we have plenty of light winds for us as well. So it's a quiet day here in West Michigan. South Haven, bluest skies of all of us. Most of the smoke is focused in our northern communities, uh, at least north of I-94 and will continue to remain that way through the afternoon. Waters are very, very quiet with that light wind here across the area. Here's a look at visible satellite. There's where we're seeing some actual high clouds pop up or those denser areas, but the smoke kind of rides right from Wisconsin into areas like Montcalm County, Kent County, Ottawa County, and then a little bit into Allegan and Barrie. But that's the trend here for the next 48 hours and temperatures are, aren't going to be really affected by it, but where there is a lot more sunshine, temperatures are a touch warmer. 63 in Grand Rapids and Ludington, 65 in Lansing, 70s to our south, but that's headed our way here shortly. We'll have afternoon highs in the mid to upper 70s, maybe a couple of 80s down near Kalamazoo and Three Rivers as well. Lakeshore communities with the light wind still going to get into the mid 70s for us as well. Winds going to be very, very light today, variable as well, starting to shift back to more of a westerly wind. And then tomorrow, we're actually looking at a southerly wind. That'll get our temperatures back up into the 80s for Grand Rapids. Dew points, fairly comfortable here in the upper 40s, lower 50s. So we're not dealing with any fire weather today or tomorrow as our relative humidity is going to stay in the 40 to 50% range rather than the 20 to 30 that we'd seen here last week. So breaking down the first half of the week, we'll have hazy sunshine today. More of that tomorrow, but it will be a touch warmer. Again, 80 degrees for us. Normal average high right now, about 72, 73. Wednesday, we do see our only chance of rain throughout the work week, but it's not going to last long. And we'll see a lot of sunshine after a couple hours of rain chances. Broad view of satellite and radar, no rain across the Midwest region. Our next chance of rain is way down in Kansas and Oklahoma right now. And that'll build in here eventually, but it's going to remain to our south. And we'll have that cold front with the chance at rain. A few afternoon pop up clouds this afternoon mixing in with that hazy sunshine. So maybe mostly sunny to partly cloudy for a couple of hours, but overall still going to be relatively clear and quiet as well. Tuesday, more of the same, but I think Tuesday is going to be a touch sunnier than what it is today. Wednesday, we track that only chance at rain and it really doesn't look like much. You can see one little dot in there, maybe a brief sprinkle in some communities, but it's not going to be a widespread event. We all will see clouds, but again, isolated chances for rain. And then right after it, we dry back out and we have a pretty good stretch of weather, not only to wrap up the work week, but heading into Memorial Day weekend as well. So we'll be a touch cooler Wednesday and Thursday in the upper 60s, still not bad, but we do see 70s return for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And it looks like that's going to be the trend going forward as well. All of the northern half, the continental U.S. and the heart of the Midwest region, warmer than average temperatures. Things are looking pretty good to wrap up the month of May.